Say hi to the subscriber, Scrappy. God damn, folks, I'm sick of this fucking camera. Ugh. Oh, he's looking. Yeah, this ain't folks, wait. I'm gonna go in for a... Oh. A tabby. Yeah, he's... He's unfortunately fat. Don't worry. He's still alive. He's tired. They always sleep during the day, don't they? Okay, guys, I'm gonna do like another TV show review. This is for a show that I am in love with. It came on Netflix a, a while ago, I think like around March, and I could not get enough of it. It's created by Tina Fey and Robert Carlock, who, like, Tina Fey created 30 Rock, and Robert Carlock was one of the writers. Excuse me. And it's one of the funniest shows I've seen in this decade. It's one of my favorite comedy shows today, and it's one of my favorite Netflix original programmings. Programs. The Unbreakable Kimmy, like Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. It stars Ellie Kemper as the title character who escapes from a cult. Like her, like this psycho reverend kept her, her friends and this Mexican woman captive for 15 years, I believe, in a, as a post-apocalyptic cult. When she gets out, she, when she's rescued after all that time, I'm just in the camera for a bit. Goddamn why it sucks ass. She moves to New York to start her life fresh. And it is one of the best shows I've seen in of this year. It's one of the funniest shows I've seen. It's some of the best programming I've seen from Netflix. I've seen one episode of House of Cards. I think I should get into that. But I'm currently doing Breaking Bad right now. So I, mean, I have to finish that show. I just have to. But there's a reason why I think you guys should watch Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. It is so funny. There's such fantastic comedy involved. They always have the fantastic, it's just so funny. There's a lot of goofy, energetic humor. It's just so hard to find comedies like that that are like that without being stereotypical. And there's also some surprising race jokes. Now they're not exactly meant to be racist, they're just so goofy, they're funny. Like, what's on, there's actually one of the characters, this is one of my favorite characters on the show, Titus, she's played by Titus Burgess, who you may know from 30 Rock. And he said, hey white weirdo, Seriously, he says that, and seriously, the face he makes and how he executes the line is so funny. He's also a really talented singer. He has some, he has a great vocal, he has some fantastic vocals. I think he has like a very high tenor voice, I believe, from what I looked up. And he is fantastic. I mean, I think he's been on Broadway, I think. And his character is kind of like taken from that, saying the fact that he is a guy, that he used to be, that he tried to be on Broadway, but he never really got that breakout that he wanted. And he's such a character that I love because he brings such oh such a great quirky energy to the series. Ellie Kemper also is fantastic as Kimmy Schmidt. She's just so goofy, so inexperienced, kind of naive in a way, and she's so entertaining to sit through and watch because she acts so goofy. She has this unbelievable energy that's just so appealing. It's just so contagious, you know, you can't really turn away from that. It's a show with a weird, it, now it kind of the style of the show with its massive energy and goofball humor. Really is a little hard to get used to, but you still get used to it. There's also another favorite character I like on the show is Lillian. She's this person, now like Kimmy lives in an apartment with Titus later on in the series. And she is, you know, she, you know, she lives in the building, like they don't live in a building, there's an apartment below they live in. And Lillian owns the house where they reside. So she's kind of like the landlord. Yeah, why can't I forget these words? I swear to God, these words are kind of commonly known and I keep forgetting them. And I'm just too tired. Anyway, she's a landlord and she's so goofy and she's almost like kind of a little bit of a psycho in my opinion. She's like kind of a little crazy woman, but she's not too crazy. But seriously, she delivers some of the best laughs in the series. Also, another show. Also, like, uh, Kenny Lear gets this job babysitting like taking care of like the this house for this rich family known as the Voorheeses. And one of them is Jacqueline Voorhees. She is so fucking funny. <laughs> she is kind of a stereotype. See this series makes just makes a great use of stereotypes. It doesn't do it too dip, doesn't do it in a way that's too stereotypical, like straightforward. They give it this edge to it that really makes it just kind of refreshing to see, especially when we have some of the worst programs, worst comedies on TV today. All these having your mother want to be friends with the fuck. I love friends. I love having my mother, though I didn't didn't like the finale. I'm actually gonna do a video on that later. Anyways, guys, I want to get back to the, to the show. It's so funny. There's also some great characters. I mean, they have some stereotypes, but.
but they present, but they embrace them and don't really make them offensive. They just make them entertaining to watch. And they do a lot, they give it an edge. They give it this real edge that I wish I see more in today's comedies, movies and TV. Especially TV, because uh, especially movies too, because we have these shitty Adam Sandler movies. I'm gonna do a video on why I don't like Adam Sandler. She, there's also, I mean, the rich people stereotype. They present that in such a different way, I mean, such as they have the bad, they have perfect lives and shit, they have everything they want. In fact, like, they have a fuck when family has, like, a terrible marriage, has a terrible, like, the family, like, the husband, wife, bad marriage. It's funny at times. There are some surprising humor in the show that even though it was, it's around TV 14, I believe, not TVMA, hell no. <laughs> there are some surprises, they kind of do push the boundaries a little bit of that rating. Well, maybe. Eh, yeah, maybe not. I don't, know, I don't really watch a lot of TV 14 sitcoms and all that shit. I love the I love the Big Bang Theory. I haven't really watched it though. There are a lot of weird storylines. They have this great quirky sense of satire, I guess. One of my favorite guest stars on the show is John Hamm. He plays the Reverend who kept Kimmy and her friends like entrapped in that like in, like they were trapped in a bunker for 15 years. He's seriously so funny. There's actually this one scene where he's doing like he's making a video of himself and he's practicing karate. It's so stupid. Like he just keeps saying, like every time he makes like a stupid move, makes a crappy move, like a cliche, like kung fu move, like taekwondo move, he says, karate, 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 karate. If you ever see the video online, like on YouTube, or if you ever watch the episode, it's so fucking funny. You see one scene where he's just screwing up. He's seriously so goofy, and it's just so entertaining to watch him. John Hamm's become such a big name, actually. I mean, you have Mad Men. I gotta watch that. I'm seriously behind on the, all these popular programs because, you know, I'm just lazy all the time. And I never really got myself to you watching them. To be honest, I'm watching more and more cable. I should watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, I got to. One, people I, one person I know loves that show. My sister's watched it. Same for my mom. I find it surprising. She's not really a fan of fantasy or sci fantasy. She's not even a fan of sci-fi. <clears throat> Sorry. Watch the show, guys. I'm going to go Kimmy Schmidt is one of the funniest shows I've seen on TV in a long time. Probably my favorite sitcom of 2015 so far. It probably is anyway. Last Man on Earth is good, but unfortunately there was a time where I kind of found it hard to sit through, mostly because of Phil being such an asshole. But it didn't prove, and I'm really hopeful. I haven't watched the finale yet. I might do a review on that later. And I'll, uh, and I hopefully I'll be hopeful for season two. But I want to make sure, but I don't want to be clear on that until I watch the finale. I might do a review on that later. Anyways, guys, I really love Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. It's one of the best, it's one of the freshest sitcoms I've seen in a long time. You really need to see it. That's my review for it. Comment below. What do you think of Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt? Have you seen it? Are you hopeful for season two? Because they, they gave it two, they already ordered two seasons before the show even, even aired. That's the amount of faith they have in it. And to be honest, I'm not surprised because it's so funny. And it's so good. I love it. Anyways, guys, I really hope that you watch the show. It's so funny. And also subscribe to my channel for more videos.